Stasa 23 here and today's knife therapy I got three brand new Civivi models to show y'all these were sent in by Civivi for me to check out on the channel but before we get started into this got a little announcement for y'all um, here we have a Nanook 910 case and I am planning to do my big giveaway this Thursday Kevin from Lefty EDC and I talked and he is letting me use his time slot uh, from 8.30 to 10.30 Eastern, so around 7.30, 10.30 Central Time, which is my time. And because of the spammer scammers, uh, you may have to be there to win. Um, I've, I've tried to do so many giveaways and just can't give away anything. They, <laughs> they always ruin it. So uh, this right here is a Nanook 910 case. This was donated by one of my longtime sponsors of the channel, Guard Dog Foam Inserts. They have been excellent. I have I've been having discount code for them, 23% off, uh, in the description of pretty much almost every one of my videos. They wanted to do something for you guys, so they asked me what I wanted for y'all, and I just told them whatever is the most popular right now for. Uh, them so he sent me the case basically it's kind of like uh, in the US like a pelican case it, it, it's pretty much the same thing I've noticed I have I have nothing but nano cases and it's uh, not not this is like a, a two-layer case so it's not a huge case it's it's easier one to get around so this is just some of the knives that I plan on giving away I tried to give away this thing twice already <laughs> nobody wanted to ever claim it so I don't know this is the the case is going to be the grand prize winner i have not decided yet exactly if i'm either going to draw you know pick numbers from one to whatever or um i may have y'all comment on one of my my videos uh from now till thursday so definitely be paying attention to the channel i don't want any of y'all to miss out i definitely will try to do other giveaways after this but I, it just kind of started getting to me whenever i couldn't actually have my giveaways because of the spammers just destroying my comments and you know telling everybody they won something so this way you know you know it's legit um we're not gonna go through the knives right now because i don't know you know like i said the case is gonna be the grand prize but it's gonna have knives in it for the grand prize winner i don't know if it, all these knives will be in there or what because i do have other knives that i could add to the giveaway we'll probably have a first second third place winner and uh yeah I'm, I'm excited i hope y'all are excited and this is just me showing my appreciation to all y'all awesome people that have been following me uh some of y'all have been here from the beginning and some of y'all just rocking just starting to rock with me and i love every one of y'all y'all are awesome y'all have helped me out through a lot of difficult times in my life and i appreciate y'all so let's get into the civivi video and i will talk more about this uh probably in the next couple of videos um just keep an eye out on the channel i will also do a community post uh, a few times before the actual live stream all right so let's get started here's the first civivi let's see what we got in here um you got the normal stuff love their their cloths so oh yeah i, I remember this one from blade show this is the uh civivi kai v plus and they had something similar to this that was, I think, just a double detent. And this one, if I recall, yep, is a liner lock. Ooh, great action. It's kind of like that Kiridashi uh, style blade there. And now that we have a locking one, I feel, you know, better about using this. And this is a cool little knife, you know, a, little, a, a nice little utility knife. This is an O-Stop Hell design. This one's in Nitro V Steel, if you can see that right there. Um, and Nitro V is a, a good uh, stainless steel, especially for a budget price. I don't know exactly how much these are. I will know that in the full review of the knife. Um, <laughs> definitely love to hear y'all thoughts on these uh, three that I'm showing y'all today. And also let me know which ones, which one out of the three y'all would like to see a review on first. And this thing's nice and lightweight. Can you thumb flick it? Thumb flick it, but... I found that that reach around is probably the easiest by just grabbing that uh, top of that corner right there. You have jimping, fine cut jimping right there. Yeah, that comes out nice and snappy. You know, it's not going to be a, a super slicer, but it's ground de pretty de decently thin. You can look behind that Rocasso. It's pretty nice and thin right here, especially right here in the back. 
I've always uh, thought most of Ostop Hell designs were pretty interesting. They're usually really compact designs. And I like how they put that jimping right there. So, you know, if you're choked up right here, that's <clears throat> probably the most effective jimping I, I find when I'm testing these knives is whenever you have jimping up here in the front, whenever you're doing like these type of cuts, you know, your detailed cuts, I find that to be the most useful. I don't ever really like jimping in the back right here, but that's just me. Everybody likes what they like. So that's the first one. Let's check out <laughs> number two. The next one is the Civivi Tarax. Um, I saw the picture of this one. I thought it was cool. The one thing I don't like, I wish they would stop using uh, stainless steel for the frame at all. Um, you know, that's it. They do a good job. I mean, you can see, I can already see it. They do an excellent job of uh, rounding everything and softening it. So it yeah, this one feels really good in hand. I love the overall aesthetics. I like that nice broad drop point right there. It's probably be an excellent slicer. Um, the action's very good on this one. Just the extra weight that stainless gives, and they didn't even mill this out because they did mill out this middle section to put the G10, and that is a decently thick, you can look right here, that is a pretty decently thick slab of G10. I don't know. I, I wanna hear y'all thoughts on that. I, I wish they would just, I would have much, this would have been a really cool design with, you know, just make it all G10 or even better, make it all some good micarta. Um, I just, I get it if they're trying to make, you know, a more tough knife, um, something, you know, like a work knife, but I don't know, that's, it's not really my thing. Um, I'm more inclined to carry something that, um, you know, is all G10 or all, uh, micarta with like an inset, uh, liner lock or something like that, or button lock. Love to hear y'all thoughts on that. <laughs> I like the overall design. Uh, and that's another thing I wish they would stop doing is putting these bead blast finishes. That right there is, um, just waiting to rust here in Louisiana. Um, this is in Nitro V as well. I don't know, just <laughs> steel's got better chances to rust, especially blasted steel like that. It's opening the pores up in the steel, allowing water droplets and moisture to set in on the, 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 uh, on the frame to start to rust out. That's always something to worry about. I like how they put a hidden lanyard post back there. That's cool. They did a great job on this, but you know I would have I would have much rather see it be a liner lock or button lock. Very cool. It's a it's a full size knife too. This is just an unboxing. I'm gonna do a much more uh, thorough look at all these knives and the full testing and review of these knives. So that's number one and number two. Let's check out the fourth one. All right, the next one is the Civivi Citos, and lucky for y'all, I already bought one of these myself um, because I love the blade shape of that. Absolutely love it. Um, and I have already finished my testing on this, so I'll probably have this review pretty soon unless y'all want to see one of the other ones before this one. Um, this is another, you know, another one that they, they put a stainless steel frame lock uh, I guess they're going for a more rugged knife because being that this is, you know, a flat ground knife and your grind's only going up, you know, a little bit of the ways, it's it's not the thinnest uh, Civivi that I've had in a while. Um, action on these are nice. Can you reverse? Yep. This one, this one has a little bit stronger detent than the one that I have that I bought. Um, good for thumb flicking and finger the finger flip but slow roll let's see slow roll you can do it it's just it, you got to overcome that detent you got to make sure your fingers off that lock bar i don't know and then once again oh god dog it once again you have uh the bead blasted um bead blasted steel and one thing that i another reason why i wanted to get this one because this one is in 14c 28 in steel um, <laughs> I've been enjoying the 14C from Civivi more than, say, their Nitro V. Uh, nothing wrong with the Nitro V. I just, I just prefer, 
Um, I prefer their 14C. I, I seem to be able to get a much stickier, sharper edge with their 14C. So this one <laughs> right here will probably be in entered into that giveaway we were just talking about since I already bought one of these myself. So that is the three new Civivi knives that came in. Please let me know which one, like I said, if y'all want to see that one, I already have that testing ready, but if y'all rather see one of these before that, before the CTOS, just let me know and I'll do my best. Please stay tuned for more information on the giveaway. And I just need to find some moderators to help me out for that live stream. I already have some ideas and I'll be doing some DMing here soon. So, all right, guys and girls, I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.